Hello everyone and welcome back to this part 2 where I'm going to do a design on these nails. I am starting out with pigments and these are just pigments that I got a long 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 time ago and yeah just line them up and take out some makeup sponges and dab them on to my stamper just in random areas or whatever design you want to do so yeah i i try to create a fade where the different colors that blends easily together like yellow orange then green then blue and purple uh, the blue and the purple is impossible to blend in the orange because they are on opposite sides of the color spectrum so that is why my blend is horrible here once this is done i go in with a regular white acrylic paint uh, that air dries and you will see me apply this with a spatula and a if you are going to recreate this, I would suggest applying a very thin layer. It's almost one and a half years ago. It is it is over one and a half years ago since I did this design. And um, it, yeah, I did see this. Uh, I'm not sure if there is if it was Chris Meekin that I saw that did this. So I wanted to give it a try. And when this is done, I just set it aside and let it air dry. And then I do the same with a, on a small stamper, just rub some pigments in and I just drew a heart shape with the same acrylic. And once that is done I go around with the makeup sponge and remove all the pigments outside this design because if this is not removed, this will attach itself to the nails. And I also use this micro applicator or micro brush to, to make the design even more crisp and neat. So I'm going to use a lot of black and white and both gel polishes and gel paints. And I go in and start with the base gel uh, this is not necessary when applying on top of gels, but when I'm applying the black black nails, it is easier to apply a smooth surface and right away. So, and especially when you get close to the cuticles, I really do not want the black to touch my cuticles because the black is such a pain to get off again. The pigments it soaks into your skin, so. That is why I go in with a detail brush and go as close as possible without it touching my skin. Well, you can also wipe off the tacky layer or the dispersion layer of the base. Uh, because that will make it even easier to apply the black or color in general because the color will then not flood in the dispersion layer itself if that makes any sense. So then I go in with just the applicator here and draw kind of a heart design. Yes, it is crooked. It's intended to be crooked <laughs> because I wanted like an asymmetric design, uh, more like a design that come out just by chance, something in that area. And also just fade it out, not just an, not like an ombre, just fade it out. You, well, you can see what I do, just to play around, basically. And then I take out the heart uh, that has dried and I squeeze it and open up the cracks. And when I'm applying this, I also need to squeeze it together and 
create these cracks so that you do not end up uh, applying just just a um, dense heart shape you want the cracks to be open when you apply this and that was the hard part so enough with the thumb for now i am just applying some random areas around the other two nails here uh, this design is very random but at the same time i do have an idea in my head like i wanted to do kind of a collage like you have ripped apart some magazines and put them together yeah something like that and also to create some depth and well you will see <laughs> you will see how it all turns out and how it all comes together at the end this is a very fun design to do because you can leave a lot up to chance and when this is finished curing i go in with the macart foil gel and apply this to all the nails and the pigments will also adhere to this foil glue very well. So once this is cured I take out some foil that has a newspaper design on it and I crinkle it up, the application will then be also crinkled up so it gets a little bit more realistic um, outlook on the <laughs> design. So I'm just placing it wherever I want the newspapers to be. After this is done I crack up try to crack up this um, big stamper uh, as you can see it was quite hard and very thick application but again this is a fun design where you work with what you end up with and kind of roll around with whatever comes to be yeah i really like this technique i, I learned this when I took a course years ago with Anastasia Milton. She has a course called Design Club. And I took this idea together with my idea and put a design together. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I really like this way of building up a design. Then I encapsulate the pigments with the top coat. I'm applying a top coat to all the nails to encapsulate the pigments <clears throat> so that I do not ruin this when I go on with the design. So when this is cured and done, I go in with uh, black gel paints and a thin liner brush and just outline the air black areas that has been overlapped with uh, either the pigments or this uh, newspaper foil. This is just to create a bigger contrast. Well, you will see soon. <laughs> cure this and then I go in with some stickers random words here and there uh, I place them like I do have a composition in my head when I'm looking at the nails so even though you paint on a big canvas canvas or a small nail you will, you should always think of a good composition so 
yeah, I, I like to spread these out and about. <laughs> And then I go in with the white liner and outline the black heart on the thumb. And then I go in with a black gel paint that I have diluted in top coat. And I create a shadow behind that white line again. And that was it for the thumb, I think. It only needs a top coat. And for the index finger I go in with a detail brush and apply a vertical line with white gel paint. This is again just to layer up the design and create contrasts and so on. So. so after this has cured I go in with the pigments and blend the pigment pigments together uh, it doesn't need to be very well blended together because you will see me add even more stuff on top of this line again so after this has been blended you just dust off the excess powder encapsulate it with the top coat and I outline this stripe with the black gel paint with a liner brush on both sides and then when this is done I go in with a white gel paint to even make a bigger contrast <laughs> and when this is cured I do apply a sticker that fits inside this line and then I add some small white dots here and there and once I'm finished with this I encapsulate it all with the top coat and I do the same for the ring finger the same blended pigments same colors you can of course switch it up here, you can do opposite colors, like green on the bottom, purple close to the cuticles, or different colors, it's all up to you. This is a playful design, it's just to play and layer up the colors and different aspects of the design. So yeah, encapsulate this and then create the shadows and the details with the black first and then the white well, looking at my nails in a computer the nails are 10 times bigger than my natural nails so it looks like I'm doing really sloppy work with the lining brush liners here but I keep reminding myself this is a lot smaller in real life than <laughs> on the screen. So just adding some details here and there and encapsulate it all. And as a last step to this design, I go in with a white gel paint and outline all the black irregular parts of the nails this is to make it pop even more and create an even bigger distance to the newspaper design underneath it doesn't need to be perfect uh, if it's not a perfect it makes it even more alive I think so <laughs> and then again I go in with a black that is diluted with the top coat just to create that shadow behind this again and you can of course create um, areas that have a deeper shadow than others but then you also have to do that with the white one so you want the parts that are more highlighted with the white and deeper with the black i'm not sure if you understand my <laughs> vision in my head right now but that's what i see when i look at my nails here if you understand the shadow and brightening concept you will kind of get it I think 
there is so much things that you can do to create different types of designs with the same ID, just with a different outcome. It's allowed to play and just have fun and trust the process and it, it will work out. As long as you try to create a good composition on the nails, you can actually not go wrong with this one. I also go in and add some tiny white dots here and there because why not? <laughs> okay, so after this has been done, I go in with the final top coat. The nails are soon finished so if you like this video please 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 give this video a huge thumbs up if you have anything to say if you have anything to ask if you have anything to comment please do so and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and also hit that notification bell so you get updates whenever I have a new video out and also check out my other social medias like Instagram Facebook also TikTok and I will see you really soon everyone bye bye for now bye bye